This clip is about making some personalization changes to the UniCenter point of sale program. Here's the program just opening. And the installation folder by default, you go to Places, Computer, File System, Opt, and then UniCenter. And we can see there are some image files in there as well as the program files themselves. And it's useful to know where these things reside on the computer. When we installed this, we created a launcher, a shortcut on the panel at the top of the screen. And we do that by right clicking and clicking on Add to Panel, Custom Application Launcher, Add, typing the name and the command. Then we chose a logo or an icon, and to do that we went to our Unicenter folder, and there's one called Unicenter opos.png which we used, and that works fine. It uh, starts the program very quickly, and it's always there. So when we first installed this, we clicked here on administration. We went to configuration and then we put in the database details. The cache register name can be changed if we want, so we'll just put freecast2 in there and save it. And it says that would um, work next time we log on, next time we open the program. We created some tax categories non taxable, reduced rate, standard rate, and zero rate. We did that by clicking on the plus sign and then saving it using the diskette save logo. Back to stock and then to taxes and we created some tax rates. So VAT reduced rate, VAT standard rate, non-taxable and VAT zero rate. So we've got the three tax rates which apply at the moment and the non-taxable. We made sure they corresponded, the name corresponded to the tax category, and we put in the correct percentage and we used decimal points for that. Although it rounds it as a single digit, we did put in the percentage, the dot and the two places after the decimal point, and we selected the cascade option on each line. It's important to note that zero rate and non-taxable are different. Although they amount to the same for the customer, zero rate is actually taxable. It's just taxable at zero. And traders should keep records of sales they make at zero rate to customers who maybe have a disability or a chronic illness because they may be inspected by Revenue and Customs and they will be expected to be able to illustrate what they've done. Tax records at the moment need to be kept for six years, VAT records. So it is important to pay attention to detail with setting up these tax pages. Right, in categories, we put some categories of product, DIY, food, household, garden, clothing, music and video. And if we wanted more, we could click on the green plus sign there and then save by clicking on the save icon when we're finished. We did put some customers in at a different time, just a couple of them. And if we go into products here, we put some products in. We put a, a loaf and a lawnmower, and we put in the appropriate information, again using decimal places in all the price information, and making sure the tax category and the product category were correct, and saving that or when we finished. We put in some simple barcode numbers because we were typing them in, not using our barcode reader at the time. And we log in as employee and we can go through some sales. So if we want a customer, we can go to the customer button, put in a number or scan one in. And we've got a Miss J Puddle Duck there, Jemima Puddle Duck. <coughs> Click on the barcode label to bring up a product or to put in a barcode, put in the 99, 
We've got our lawnmower there showing the correct price with tax added over in the value column. Click on the equal sign to bring up the payment window and we put in the correct amount. We can see what's been given in that box there. And then we where it says OK with a green tick when we they've got the right amount entered. Now I'm clicking on the printer icon here and we can see that there is something in process showing that the sale was sent to the printer. It's an Epson receipt printer we're using here. Now the logo that prints at the top of the receipt by default is that Unicenter one. That logo we can see near the top of this page. If we want to change it we can go into Administration Maintenance Resources and we can select Printer Ticket Logo and then we can tell it where to go to find the image we want or we can put in text. So we can have text, an image or binary. We chose the image and we changed the default one which was a black and white unicenter one and if we go through our folder icon here to the opt unicenter folder we can choose one we call it fred.png just to illustrate the points and it puts in our freecast one And that's what appears at the top of our logo at present, just for our testing. It's that one. The old logos here, the original ones, if we want to take a coloured logo and change it to black and white to save ink, etc. Or if we haven't got a coloured printer, then we can open the GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, and we can change it in there. So just doing that here. If we go into image and mode and click on grayscale then it changes it to grayscale immediately and we can save it as whatever we choose. So we're just going to put in dash gs for grayscale and save it to the desktop. And there we have it ready to use if we wanted that one or another business logo that we chose. So logos are fairly flexible. We can do pretty much what we want with them and have them in different sizes. But the default one was a reasonable size for our 80mm receipt paper. So if we want to change things like receipt logos, we can go into Maintenance and Resources. And down here is a list of resources, as they're called. And many things can be changed there as text rather than using a graphical user interface. One of the places to look for information is the Administrator Guide, which we downloaded from the same place as the program itself. And we can use the Edit Find facility here. So we've just done this for Logo. And so we can quickly go to places that we want to be. We can do more clips on this. And if you have any questions, if you'd like us to try to find out how to do something in Unicenter, we'll do a video. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.